The rand sign, R, code, Z -A -R, is the currency of South Africa. The rand is subdivided into 100 cents sign, C. The ISO 4217 code is ZAR, from Dutch Zuid Afrikaans Rand, South African Rand. The Rand is legal tender in the common monetary area between South Africa, Swaziland, Lesotho, and Namibia, although the last three countries do have their own currencies pegged at par with Rand. Before 1976, the Rand was legal tender in Botswana. Etymology The rand takes its name from the Witwatersrand, White Waters Ridge. In English, the ridge upon which Johannesburg is built and where most of South Africa's gold deposits were found. Topic: History. The rand was introduced in the then Union of South Africa on the 14th of February 1961, 3 months before the Republic of South Africa was established. A decimal coinage commission had been set up in 1956 to consider a move away from the denominations of pounds, shillings, and pence, submitting its recommendation on 8 August 1958. It replaced the South African pound as legal tender, at the rate of 2 rand to 1 pound, or 10 shillings to the rand. The government introduced a mascot, Decimal Dan, the rand -cent man, known in Afrikaans as Don Decimal. This was accompanied by a radio jingle, to inform the public about the new currency. <inaudible> Brief exchange rate history <inaudible> 1971–2000 One rand was worth $1.40 from the time of its inception in 1961 until late 1971. Its value thereafter fluctuated as various exchange rate dispensations were implemented by the South African authorities. By the early 1980s, high inflation and mounting political pressure combined with sanctions placed against the country due to international opposition to the apartheid system started to erode its value. The currency broke above parity with the dollar for the first time in March 1982, and continued to trade between R1 and R1.30 to the dollar until June 1984, when depreciation of the currency gained momentum. By February 1985, it was trading over R2 per dollar, and in July that year, all foreign exchange trading was suspended for three days to try to stop the depreciation. By the time that State President P. W. Botha made his Rubicon speech on 15 August 1985, it had weakened to R2.40 per dollar. The currency recovered somewhat between 1986-88, trading near the R2 level most of the time and even breaking beneath it sporadically. The recovery was short-lived, however, and by the end of 1989, the rand was trading at levels more than R2.50 per dollar. As it became clear in the early 1990s that the country was destined for black majority rule and one reform after the other was announced, uncertainty about the future of the country hastened the depreciation until the level of R3 to the dollar was breached in November 1992. A host of local and international events influenced the currency after that, most notably the 1994 presidential election which had it weakened to over R3.60 to the dollar, the election of Tito Mboini as the new governor of the South African Reserve Bank, and the inauguration of President Thabo Mbeki in 1999 which had it quickly slide to over R6 to the dollar. The controversial land reform program that was initiated in Zimbabwe, followed by the September 11, 2001 attacks, propelled it to its weakest historical level of R13.84 to the dollar in December 2001. Topic 2001 to 2011. This sudden depreciation in 2001 led to a formal investigation, which in turn led to a dramatic recovery. By the end of 2002, the currency was trading under R9 to the dollar again, and by the end of 2004 was trading under R5.70 to the dollar. The currency softened somewhat in 2005, and was trading around R6.35 to the dollar at the end of the year. 
At the start of 2006, however, the currency resumed its rally, and as of 19 January 2006, was trading under R6 to the dollar again. However, during the second and third quarters of 2006 i.e. April through September, the rand weakened significantly. In sterling terms, it fell from around 9.5p to just over 7p, losing some 25% of its international trade weighted value in just six months. In late 2007, the rand rallied modestly to just over 8p, only to experience a precipitous slide during the first quarter of 2008. This downward slide could be attributed to a range of factors, South Africa's worsening current account deficit, which widened to a 36-year high of 7.3% of gross domestic product GDP in 2007, inflation at a five-year high of just under 9%, escalating global risk aversion as investors' concerns over the spreading impact of the subprime crisis grew, and a general flight to safe havens away from the perceived risks of emerging markets. The RAND depreciation was exacerbated by the Eskom electricity crisis, which arose from the utility being unable to meet the country's rapidly growing energy demands. Topic: 2012 present. A stalled mining industry in late 2012 led to new lows in early 2013. In late January 2014, the rand slid to R11.25 to the dollar, with analysts attributing the shift to word from the U.S. Federal Reserve that it would trim back stimulus spending, which led to a massive sell-off in emerging economies. In 2014, South Africa experienced its worst year against the U.S. dollar since 2009, and in March 2015, the rand traded at its worst since 2002. At the time, Trading Economics released data that the RAND averaged R4.97 to the dollar between 1972 and 2015, reaching an all-time high of R12.45 in December of 2001 and a record low of R0.67 in June of 1973. By the end of 2014, the RAND had weakened to R15.05 per dollar, partly due to South Africa's consistent trade account deficit with the rest of the world. From 9 December 2015 to 13 December 2015, over a four-day period, the RAND dropped over 10% due to what some suspected was President Zuma's surprise announcement that he would be replacing the then Finance Minister Nhlanshla Nene with the little-known David Van Ruyen. The rapid drop in value was stemmed when Zuma backtracked and announced that the better-known previous Minister of Finance, Praveen Gordon, would instead be appointed to the post. Zuma's surprise sacking of Nene damaged international confidence in the RAND, with it experiencing significant exchange volatility throughout much of January 2016, reaching an all-time low of R17.9169 to the US dollar on 9 January 2016 before rebounding to R16.57 later the same day. The January drop in value was also partly caused by Japanese retail investors cutting their losses in the currency to look for higher yield investments elsewhere and due to concerns over the impact of the economic slowdown in China, South Africa's largest export partner. By mid-January, economists were speculating that the RAND could expect to see further volatility for the rest of 2016. By 29 April, it reached its highest performance over the previous five months, exchanging at a rate of 14.16 to the United States dollar. Following the United Kingdom's vote to leave the European Union (EU), the rand dropped in value over 8% against the United States dollar on 24 June 2016, the currency's largest single-day decline since the 2008 economic crash. This was partly due to a general global financial retreat from currencies seen as risky to the US dollar and partly due to concerns over how the UK's withdrawal from the EU would impact South Africa's economy and trade relations. In April 2017, a Reuters poll estimated that the rand would remain relatively stable for the rest of the year, as two polls found that analysts had already factored in a possible downgrade to junk status. At the time, Moody's graded South Africa two notches above junk status. When President Jacob Zuma narrowly won a motion of no confidence in South Africa in August 2017, the RAND continued to slide, dropping 1.7% that day. In September 2017, Goldman Sachs Group said that the debt and corruption of Eskom Holdings was the biggest risk to South Africa's economy and exchange rate of the RAND. 
At the time, it had no permanent CEO, and Colin Coleman of Goldman Sachs in Africa said the company was having discussions on solutions on finding credible management. In October 2017, the RAND firmed against the U.S. dollar as it recovered from a six-month low. Reuters noted that South Africa is highly susceptible to global investor sentiment as the country relies on foreign money to cover its large budget and current account deficits. On November 13, 2017, the RAND tumbled over a full percent when the budget chief Michael Sachs stood down from his position in Zuma's administration. Coins Coins were introduced in 1961 in denominations of one half, one, two and a half, five, ten, twenty, and fifty cents. In 1965, two cent coins replaced the two and a half cent coins. The one half cent coin was last struck for circulation in 1973. The two rand coin was introduced in 1989, followed by five rand coins in 1994. Production of the 1 and 2 cent coins was discontinued in 2002, primarily due to inflation having devalued them, but they remain legal tender. Shops normally round the total purchase price of goods to the nearest 10 cents in favor of the consumer. In an effort to curb counterfeiting, a new 5 rand coin was released in August 2004. Security features introduced on the coin include a bimetal design similar to the 1 euro and 2 euros coins, the Thai 10 baht coin, the Philippine 10 peso coin the coin was changed the composition, the British 2 pounds coin, and the Canadian 2 dollars coin, a specially serrated security groove along the rim and microlettering. Topic banknotes The first series of RAND banknotes was introduced in 1961 in denominations of 1, 2, 10, and 20 RAND, with similar designs and colors to the preceding pound notes to ease the transition. They bore the image of what was believed at the time to be Jan van Riebeek, the first VOC administrator of Cape Town. It was later discovered that the image was not in fact van Riebeek at all, a portrait of Bartholomew's Vermeiden had been mistaken for van Riebeek. Like the last pound notes, they were printed in two variants, one with English written first and the other with Afrikaans written first. In 1966, a second series was released with designs which moved away from the previous pound notes. Notes with denominations of 1, 5 and 10 rand were produced with predominantly one color per note. A smaller 1 rand note with the same design was introduced in 1973 and a 2 rand note was introduced in 1974. The 20 rand denomination from the first series was dropped. All notes bore the image of Jan van Riebeek. The practice of having an English and an Afrikaans version of each note was continued in this series. The 1978 series began with denominations of 2, 5, 10 and 20 rand, with a 50 rand introduced in 1984. This series had only one language variant for each denomination of note. Afrikaans was the first language on the 2, 10, and 50 rand, while English was the first language on the 5 and 20 rand. The 1 rand note was replaced by a coin. In the 1990s, the notes were redesigned with images of the big five wildlife species. 10, 20 and 50 rand notes were introduced in 1992 and 1993, retaining the color scheme of the previous issue. Coins were introduced for the 2 and 5 rand, replacing the notes of the previous series, mainly because of the severe wear and tear experienced with low denomination notes in circulation. In 1994, 100 and 200 rand notes were introduced. The 2005 series has the same principal design, but with additional security features such as color shifting ink on the 50 rand and higher and the Urian constellation. The obverses of all denominations were printed in English, while two other official languages were printed on the reverse, thus making use of all 11 official languages of South Africa. In 2010, the South African Reserve Bank and Commercial Banks withdrew all 1994 series 200 rand banknotes due to relatively high quality counterfeit notes in circulation. In 2011, the South African Reserve Bank issued 100 rand banknotes which were defective because they lacked fluorescent printing visible under UV light. In June, printing of this denomination was moved from the South African Bank Note Company to Crane Currency's Swedish division, Tumba Bruck, which reportedly produced 80 million 100 rand notes. The South African Reserve Bank shredded 3.6 million 100 rand banknotes printed by Crane Currency because they had the same serial numbers as a batch printed by the South African Bank Note Company. 
In addition, the notes printed in Sweden were not the correct color, and they were one millimeter short. On the 11th of February 2012, President Jacob Zuma announced that the country would be issuing a new set of banknotes bearing Nelson Mandela's image. They were entered into circulation on the 6th of November 2012. These contained the same denominations of 10, 20, 50, 100, and 200 rand. In 2013, the 2012 series was updated with the addition of the Urian constellation to all five denominations. On the 18th of July 2018, a special commemorative series of banknotes was released in commemoration of the 100th anniversary of Nelson Mandela's birth. This series includes notes of all denominations: 10, 20, 50, 100, and 200 rand. These notes will circulate alongside the existing notes. The notes depict the standard face of Nelson Mandela on the obverse, but instead of the big five animals on the reverse, they show a younger Mandela with different iconic scenes relating to his legacy. These scenes comprise, the rolling hills of the Eastern Cape, featuring Mandela's humble birthplace of Mbezo 10 Rand, the home of Mandela in Soweto, where he defined his political life alongside other struggle icons 20 Rand, the site where Mandela was captured near Howick, following 17 months in hiding, where a monument to him has been erected 50 Rand, the place of Mandela's 27-year imprisonment at Robben Island, showing a pile of quarried limestone 100 Rand, the statue of Mandela at the Union buildings in remembrance of when he he was inaugurated there in 1994 200 rand topic <laughs> first series topic <laughs> 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 second series topic <laughs> <laughs> third series Topic Fourth Series Topic Fifth Series Topic Sixth Series Topic Seventh Series See also Financial Rand Witwaters Rand Krugerrand Coins of the South African Rand South African Pound Economy of South Africa <laughs>